Hey what's up guys welcome back to NCX Tech. In this video I'll show you how to create a bootable Ubuntu USB drive with persistence. Now if you're new to this persistence means you can run Ubuntu from your USB drive, save files, install applications and make changes to the system and all of it stays there even after you reboot. It's a super handy way to carry your personalized Linux system in your pocket. Before we begin, let's quickly cover what you'll need. You'll need a PC with Windows, Linux or Mac, a USB drive with at least 16 GB of storage, though I recommend a USB 3.0 for much better performance. And of course, the Ubuntu ISO file will also need a free tool called Rufus to create the bootable USB. Before creating the bootable USB, you'll also need to disable the secure boot in your computer's BIOS or UFI settings. Persistent live USBs often won't work properly if secure boot is enabled. To do this, restart your computer and press your system's BIOS key during the startup. This is usually F2 or Dell or ESC key depending upon your system. Once you're in, look for the secure boot under either boot or security and turn it off. It's better to check before proceeding whether your system is using UEFI or older legacy BIOS mode. This is easy to check in Windows. Just go to the system information and then click on BIOS mode. If it says UFI, your system is using UFI firmware. And if it says legacy, it's running the older BIOS setup. This will be important when selecting the options in Rufus a little later. Once that is done, go to rufus.ie. Here's their official website and download Rufus. It's a small portable utility and it doesn't require installation. And next, head over to Ubuntu's official web page and download the latest Ubuntu 25.04 ISO. And this may take a while. And after the downloads are complete, now you can plug in your USB drive and open Rufus. And note that flashing the USB deletes all the data currently on your USB drive. So if there's anything important, please back it up before. In the program window, select your drive under the device dropdown. That is your USB drive. And then click the select button and choose the Ubuntu 25.04 ISO that we have downloaded earlier. One of the most important parts here is the persistent partition size. Rufus includes a slider that lets you allocate a portion of your USB drive's space to persistence, meaning it will remember all your files, settings and install applications between different sessions. I recommend this setting to at least 4GB or more if your USB drive allows. And for the partition scheme option, choose ZPT if your system uses UEFI or select MBR if it uses legacy BIOS. So here in my case, I have UEFI system, so I'm going to choose ZPT and leave the file system set to FAT32. Once everything is configured, now click on the start. Confirm the warning about erasing the data on the USB and Rufus will begin creating your persistent USB drive. After Rufus finishes, it's time to boot your new portable Ubuntu system. Now restart your PC. and enter the boot menu. The key to access the boot menu varies by manufacturer. 
it's usually f12 for dell and lenovo and f9 for sp f10 for acer esc or f12 for asus from the boot menu select your usb drive and now our system is loading ubuntu from the usb drive so for now we press try ubuntu without installing And now here we can close the Ubuntu installation window. And now you should see Ubuntu 25.04 running live from your USB drive. And now this is where we'll test the persistence. Let's make some changes in the system. Let's create an empty folder and name it and see Let's install a very lightweight application guinea from the terminal we type sudo apt install guinea and also let's customize our desktop looks let's change the wallpaper change some dock settings Once you have installed a program and made some changes and now restart your computer again and boot from the USB drive. And again close the Ubuntu installation window. But here is still we can see the same wallpaper that we changed all year and the dock as we customized before. And also let's check to see if Guineas is still there installed. So there we have. All our folders are still there. And our settings have been saved. Persistence is working perfectly. And just keep in mind that running an operating system from a USB drive will be slower compared to running it off. Uh, an internal SSD or hard drive and that's totally normal and that's it we have now successfully created a persistent USB 25.04 USB drive using Rufus on Windows 11 so I hope you found this video helpful and if so please don't forget to like the video subscribe the channel and turn on notifications for more Linux tutorials thanks for watching see you in the next video